what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection issue problem in borderlander 3 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know how to fix these issues uh, but before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber here in my journey on YouTube. Especially subscribing would be a big support for me, and it's free for you guys, so you're gonna support my work by doing that. I'm gonna thank you for that right now, and I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step is obviously in order to fix you, uh, fix your connection issues or problems. Uh, you're gonna go to your router, plug it out, plug it in again. This will just fix 99% of your technical problems, but obviously not gonna leave it like that. The first step in order to fix this issue on your PC is gonna be to click on your Windows key and search for CMD. And your Windows search, you're gonna enter. And once this window pops up, you're gonna basically just type in what I'm gonna type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS. Hit enter, and once this one pops up, you're gonna close um, this window. The next step is gonna be to uh, go to the bottom left corner of the screen, opening up your settings. Uh, what I want you to do is basically go to your uh, network and internet, so the fourth one, and you're gonna see at once network settings where I want you to click on change adapter options. Once you're here, you're gonna go to internet and connections, right click, and disable. Once it is disabled, you're gonna wait a little bit and afterwards you're gonna enable it again. Uh, this will take quite a few moments, so just wait patiently and it, until it's connected and once it is connected, you can also close this one down again. So let's wait a little bit until it's connected. It should be, yeah, it's connected. So you're gonna close this one down also. So um, let's return quickly back. And uh, what I want you to do afterwards is gonna be to go to Network and Sharing Center and once you're here, I want you to uh, click on the blue printed one. So this just, uh, if yours is internet, it doesn't really matter. It's just, uh, will say what you're using. So if you're using for Wi-Fi, you're using the cable. I'm using the cable, so for me it's ethernet. I'm gonna click it and click right onto properties once this window pops up. And now I want you to click on internet protocol version four, uh, double click it. And now go down to use the following DNS server address, left click. On the preferred DNS server address, I want you to uh, type in four times eight and down, down here for uh, two times four and two times eight. Once you finish here, you're gonna hit okay and you're gonna close every single one down again. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm really sorry if it didn't, but sometimes there are also other issues and I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you. Either way, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and goodbye.